It was brought to my attention that people would like to see the Afro slash uh, redneck engineering that goes into these projects and how we try to make ourselves look professional. But in all reality, it's not that professional at all. So here we go. Honda buggy, radiator. Need to remount it, put it on the top. So we decided that we were just gonna draw a bunch of little lines with a paint marker and cut it out. We failed miserably. <laughs> so we've gotta still cut all this out so it sits down flat against the bolt. So we gotta cut here, 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 there, 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 there. We kind of missed that whole paint mark there. And there's supposed to be a hole there somewhere. Anyway, Honda buggy update. Yeah, no radiator up there no more. This one's still laying right here. One day we'll get that before <laughs> it's somewhere in this area. But, and then wire it. It's still sitting there. Got a big, big event coming up. Special invite only. Uh, so we got to get it ready. But we got to make it presentable and runnable because we are drag racing the schnot out of this thing. All right, stay tuned. We'll do some more cutting. We'll bring you guys back on that guy. <laughs> so much fun. Update, update. Morning, morning, danger, danger. <laughs> That's supposed to be round. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Here, you're, you're straight. Make it round. Oh. All right. You can make it round. Here. No, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do right. it like on video, so oh, that way, fuck. that way they can't say, "Oh, Ryan did it." To hold it over here. So no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to get my angle just right so yeah. I can fuck my camera lens up. I, I agree. Got a bad ground. You know, you gotta get a good ground. You don't, don't ever trust somebody to put your ground on when they want you to cut a straight hole. That's for sure. Oh, that one's look good. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, there. Ain't big Bam. enough. Hold that. Ain't big enough. He said it ain't, it ain't big enough. Ain't big enough. Watch this. I'm gonna go over here and grab my little, my little, little, oh, right, that? my little hose right here. Look at that. He said it ain't big enough. Take my Stick. cap off my Benjamin bottle. On the, on the... Oh, you want me to put it on there? You think that? Okay. You, you assume that I drew that dead center. Oh, oh. Now we're saying he's making up excuses. <laughs> YouTube, he's making up excuses now, saying that he, he didn't put it on there correct. He didn't put it on there straight. Oh man. He didn't even know we're freaking close. Oh, he got her close. He got her pretty close. Mm. He's, he's pretty close. He needs to come on this side a little bit more, but it looks pretty close. Here, let's get the paint stick out again. Watch this straight line he draws. CNC table here. Ain't no water jet going on in this lifestyle. Nope. <laughs> only, only water jet we're getting is me, me cutting it and drinking water. <laughs> Boom. All right. Mount it. Got all the hoses run on it. Boom, boom. See down in there, the fan. We kind of had the 13 versions it later. We went around there and just flat cut it. And then we used these guys here here and two on the bottom for it so now we're redoing the exhaust trying to get this guy and what we're gonna do for now is dump it just like that out the side pointing down a little bit coming along still got the radiator mount got all the fuel lines tied up and now we gotta mount this guy next project a few moments later all right youtube we're back at it again bringing an update on the buggy so so far we have uh we got a special invite we're uh, taking a trip man we're taking a trip 2,000 miles 2,000 miles away with the buggy uh here in the next few i'm gonna say next two weeks uh got a special event big event huge event excited to go i was so excited to go i'm glad i got the invite put in i didn't think we we're going to ever get a chance to go um, but we did get an invite so we are going to send the honda buggy out there as hard as we can so we did a couple modifications to it 
Uh, basically had to get the radiator remounted so it wasn't over top of the head. We had a cool cooling issue, it was running running way too hot. Uh, anytime you put a load onto it, it would just shoot skyrocket. So we are going, we, we basically moved that guy down. And as you can hear, it's running in the background. We did a couple other modifications. I'll get right into it. Um, so remember guys, like, subscribe. You know, if you like what you're seeing, hit that bell uh, so we can get these notifications and you'll see when we get these new videos up. So what we got going on here, let me get you around so I can give you a whole roundabout figure on it here. So first things first, you can already tell that's different. No radiator. Move that Mashimoto down there. Cut a hole through the plate. Um, you know, with right there on that black plate, cut a hole through it. Stuck it through with the fan and everything on that side because we didn't have enough room to get the radiator in between the motor and the back of it. So when we put that there, we had to remove said exhaust that was there. Said exhaust now is in race mode. No muscle. And I'll tell you what, this bad boy, woo, when she's on the old limiter boy. She is no joke. So got that done. We also mounted our secondary cooling system. That is now mounted. Aluminum strap here, mounted on our solid, fans hooked up. Special switch on there. Cool her off. Right now she's been running for about 10 minutes and we still haven't broke the 190 mark. So we're gonna let her run so she can run through a heat cycle, make sure we got no no issues with coolant. Um, I do have a I do have a VTEC solenoid leaking oil, so we gotta fix that guy. That guy way basically right in there. It's just leaking oil pretty good. So we've gotta fix that guy. I gotta readjust the regulator. Uh, my fuel pressure regulator. Um, their air motive is running a little high. It's like 40, 46, 45 pounds drop that back down we're gonna be down in Minnesota um, so it's kind of like a we got we got to bring that pressure down I got way too much fuel going to it right now even with the nitrous I, I hit the nitrous and uh, I can guarantee it's probably gonna be dipping down there in that 10 storage 10 10 2 10 3 so I got to bring that gotta bring that fuel pressure down hopefully I correct that and fix that problem um, other than that we're just gonna send her we're gonna send it down um, like I say big big event uh, I'm so proud to go there. I, I just, I was excited. Um, it's like I say, I got the, got the notification for it uh, about a month ago that we were, you know, we, we had sent in and then I did not know if we were gonna get the invite, but we ended up getting the invite. So happy. You guys will see it in the upcoming videos. We'll announce it later. Stay tuned. It's gonna be an epic event. Uh, I can't wait to go. I've been trying to go for the past two years. So it's it's kind of like I'm, I'm so happy the Honda buggy finally got the invite out because this is an invite only uh, event. So 2,000 miles, got to drive to Vegas, pick up my son. He's going to go out with me. So we're going to drive, I'm going to drive 700 miles out of the way to pick up my son. And then we're going to head 2,000 miles to the event. And we're going to leave on Thursday and we got to be there Saturday morning at 11.30 for racing. So uh stick to stay tuned guys and uh i do appreciate it thanks so much for watching we'll see you later